House COVID response coordinator Ashish Jha warns the United States is still in one million deaths because of COVID. Thousand infections and hundreds of deaths every day. CBS's Ed O'Keefe reports tonight from the White House. At the White House and the Capitol, Washington paused today to mark an American COVID death toll fast approaching one million. There's still so much left to do. This pandemic isn't over. The milestone is bringing back memories for so many Americans, like Alexa and Brooklyn Rivera. Their mother and grandmother, Ana Martinez, died at the height of the pandemic. About an hour after the conversation of, with the doctor of our kidney's feelings, she was gone. I remember bawling in my room. I had, I had cried so much. It was like, I was like a child. The president today acknowledged the loss. One million empty chairs around the family dinner table. Each irreplaceable irreplaceable losses i say this was going to happen the pandemic is it over or we something like it down on our efforts to get shots in people's arms country by country community by community ensure we have reliable and predictable supplies of vaccines and boosters for everyone everywhere mr biden's pre-recorded remarks far more subdued than how he's marked previous COVID milestones came during a global summit on how to fight the pandemic the U.S. and other nations committed more than $3 billion more today with money for vaccines and testing. The U.S., which has invested $19 billion in the global fight, announced plans to share technologies developed to fight the pandemic with the World Health Organization. At least 2 million people have died across Europe, according to the WHO. 2 million. The president is also so pushing Congress to fund more pandemic preparedness, but that has stalled. So the White House is prodding lawmakers by once again warning today there could be up to 100 million COVID infections across this country by this fall, unless there's more money soon to pay for vaccines and other treatments. Nora? Just stunning, Ed O'Keefe, thank you. Let's turn